Hello and good morning Lighthouse family. Thank you all for tuning in today. As you all know, we're back at it online service. I hope you guys had a great week and you guys are being safe when you go out to your um, homes. And uh, I hope that you guys are excited today as we worship God in spirit and truth. And may God open our hearts for His Word. And um, let's praise Him um, with all that we have and with all that we are and because he is faithful and he is good uh, even in this time of pandemic because today is the day that the Lord has made and let us rejoice and be glad in it. Let us pray. Lord, I pray with Jesus that you may be with us, oh Lord God, even though we do this um, separately, Lord God, in our homes. Lord, I pray that you may open our hearts, oh Lord God, for what you have for us today. Lord, we offer this day, we offer our lives to you. We commit, Lord God, this service, O Lord God Jesus, to you, Lord. Here is your church, O Father. And I pray, Lord God, that we will always look forward, O Lord, even though in this um, um, times, O Lord God, of difficulties, pandemic, Lord God, disease, Lord God. God, I pray, Lord God, that we will hope, O Lord God, for you are coming back, O Father. We will hope, Lord Jesus, for the promises that you have given us, Lord Jesus. Lord, we praise you and we glorify your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the hallelujah. 
Hallelujah to the one who is worthy, to the one who is holy. Oh Lord, in this during this pandemic, Lord God, we raise a worship, Lord God, that is due to you, Father. That's why we raise, oh Lord God, hallelujah, to the one who is victory, Lord, over death, over sickness, oh Lord God, Jesus. We raise, Lord, hallelujah, to you only, only to you, Lord, only to you, Father. While everyone in the world is talking about disease, Lord, we will talk about you, Father. Oh, Jesus, thank you.
protection, O Lord God, over all houses. Thank you, Holy Spirit, Lord God. Though we are doing this online, we're doing this virtually, Lord. I pray, Lord God, that you may open our hearts for your word today. May you the one to rebuke and speak to us, Lord, this morning. This last song, Lord God, we will declare how great and how awesome, Lord, your name is. The name that is above every name, the name where every knee will bow down and every tongue will confess that you're God. The name, oh Lord, that we revere, that we fear, oh Lord, is your name. of a king that is coming back for his beloved ones Lord. it is your name Jesus the splendor of the king cloth and majesty cloth and majesty let all the earth rejoice all the earth rejoice he wraps, he wraps him in light in darkness tries to hide and trembles at his voice trembles at his voice how great how great is our God sing with me how great is our God
situation where we're all far away from one another and where we have to start doing online services again it's a bit weird thinking about it um, yeah because we were just starting to roll out the whole uh, coming back together having community all together again um, and then uh, I'll just I'll just miss it I hope it, it will not stay uh, so long um, this whole um, online situation that we will be able to come back together and have uh, community and, and worship uh, all together um, so I, I do hope that you are all safe and and, and, and well um, and healthy um, yeah it has been it has been a bit a bit hard here on, on our side because Jen Jen was uh, was positive with COVID so for a little while I had to to do everything in the house and I'm not used to that <laughs> surely, surely when it comes to like cooking um, cooking was a uh, Thing that I, I really learned um, uh, a lot uh, in the past few days and of course uh, I have worked clean and everything but it's it's uh, nice to see my wife again back on her feet and 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 uh, yeah doing doing the things that she she loves to do because um, she yeah, she was in her bed the whole time and, and for those that, that prayed I thank you uh, for your prayers they were really helpful um, yeah so let's start um, let's pray Father, I thank you for this wonderful day and uh, I thank you for the technology that you've given to us, Lord Jesus, that even in this uh, difficult times, Lord Jesus, that we are able to connect with one another. I, I, I pray, Lord, for those that are, are connecting right now, that you may be with them, keep them safe, bless them, Father God, Lord Jesus. And, and just, Lord, I pray that we will, even though we are far from one another, uh, have a heart that is open, Lord Jesus, and, and just... Um, that our, our, our eyes and our, 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 our vision, Lord Jesus, will just be directed to you, Lord. We just want to give you glory and honor, Lord, in everything that we do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. As you all know, we're, we're in this season where, um, where being strong um, is really um, uh, the, the uh, now I forgot the word, the, the topic, the, the, the theme of, of the year. And, and I was reading, I was, uh, this week I was reading in... in in the book of Samuel about the story of David and and I and while I was reading it I, I just kind of found inspiration for 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 um, for, for, for the, the sermon of today which uh, which I, I thought of of, um, of uh, a title which was being strong through adversities or being strong in adversities um, because we all in life and I don't know what situ what situation you are in right now um, uh, we're uh, we all in life have moments where uh, we have adversities meaning we have uh, situations where we are uh, not maybe not comfortable or in problems or or whatever it is and 
and, and just looking at the life of David uh, inspired me, um, inspired me actually a lot in, in the way he acted, in the way uh, he did things. And, and, and all the things that he did w weren't always perfect. Uh, don't get me, don't get me wrong. Uh, there, there are mistakes that he did. And, and that's even, even more, more, um, that's even more um, inspiring in a sense because we know out of the life of David that he was not a perfect man and, and neither am I, neither are you uh, perfect and that we all in our walk of life have, have our struggles and um, I, I, I believe really that in the life of David we, we can learn there were so, I mean, there were so many things I was thinking about which, in which we can talk to and, and this may be 30 minutes or 45 minutes uh, uh, as I'm going to talk, um, will not be enough to discuss all those points. Um, so I really wanted to dig deep in, 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 in three points um, that I really saw out of the life of David. And um, um, we all know the King David um, uh, um, life story, I think. And, and, and there are maybe two that jumps out the most when you think about David. Uh, two stories that jumps out the most. And, and one, of course, is um, the story of David against Goliath. Yeah, we all know that. Even my kids know know knows that story, and uh, that's one of the stories that you first hear of um, when you are in um, children's ministry or, or Bible school, or whatever, uh, sun, or Sunday school. No, maybe more children's ministry. Um, and it's this story of 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 this young man who just got anointed <clears throat> to be the next king, uh, <clears throat> who is this uh, little shepherd um, that no one that in that time uh, even Prophet Samuel didn't even think about. Um, uh, as, as the anointed one that, that comes up uh, in, in this whole situation where we see the Israelite army and the Philistine army um, kind of in a, in a battle situation, but where there's only this, this, this big man, uh, this giant go named Goliath, that is, um, how do you say that, um, that is challenging the army of Israel, saying, okay, uh, you know, to have a, a one versus one kind of combat and the winner out of out of that combat will be the winner for the whole war. So in the place of having thousands of people fight against one another uh, and, and, and ha having hundreds of people die, uh, this, this situation was one man against one man. And the winner out of it uh, wins the battle for, for, for the whole country. And so, um, um, yeah, we see, we see this giant um, whose name is Goliath come out, uh, challenges the army of Israel and the army of Israel is quite scared of him actually uh, he's, he's this very tall man um, very strong and nobody dares out to go go out to him and here's this this little shepherd boy David going out to bring food to his brothers and he hears this this um, Israelite uh, I, um, sorry the, the, the Philistine he hears this Philistine um, shouting out to the army and challenging them and 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 he was kind of uh, yeah uh, fearful <clears throat> but uh, um, brave in a way because not only was he young but he was like oh who is this uncircumcised philistine you know challenging the army of the lord of the living god and so at the end he he goes to saul and says okay i will, I will battle i will battle this this man and, and and win this war um so to make the story short because we all know it uh he he, he goes out um, and and actually beats uh, goliath with some couple of stones that he he threw, threw to him and kills him with his own sword um, and then we we see from it um, just victory after victory uh, uh, for David just very briefly um, and then we also uh, what probably one of the the second stories that is uh, most known to um, for, for, for in, the, in, in the story life of, of King David is is a story of, of uh, Bathsheba where where he kind of lusted for another man's wife and because of that lust uh, did um, uh, sexual immorality uh, and then because because he did that and kept, wanted to keep uh, Bathsheba uh, he sent out the husband of Bathsheba into battle so that he might die so not only did he uh, did uh, sexual immorality but he also uh, committed murder which were two uh, deadly I mean how do you say that uh, th th those were two sins that were that were punishable by death in 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 in, in the Old Testament so it's just amazing to see that out of just out, just some learnings out of out of out of the story of Bathsheba is that we see the grace that God had for King David. We see the, the, the grace and the mercy because 
normally King David should have been killed for uh, for the things that he has done, um, but God was 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 graceful, was was merciful, and 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 still you know uh, let David live. But one thing that we learn also um, is that not only is God merciful and 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 and, and, and compassionate, just that, uh, for those that are following in, in the Sunday school from Exodus 34 verse 6 is that God is also a just God and and we learn from from the story of King David and and Bathsheba is that that sin in a way doesn't go unpunished um, uh, it is uh, more the that you know when you do uh, when you commit a sin there, that there's always uh, how do you call that uh, uh, Bear with me. Uh, that when when you commit a sin, there is uh, what's the word? I'm looking for a word. Um, like you know what what you saw, you reap. Um, uh, uh, man, my head is empty. <laughs> but I think you understand what I mean. It's like uh, it's like on the tip of my tongue, but it doesn't want to go out. Um, if Queer Roger was there now, he would have like shouted it uh, <laughs> in the service. Um, but um, yeah, um, so wait, when you commit sin, you have, yeah, there's there's always a, come on. You, you guys will understand. So what, what you sow is what you reap. So there's always a repercussion uh, it's not a word, but maybe a repercussion. Let's use a repercussion uh, towards the sin. And and in a way, David paid fourfold uh, the thing that he did uh, uh, because of the sin that he did um, with with Bathsheba. And and we can see, and it depends on how you can see. But for example, um, uh, in the life of David, he lost four sons. Not only did he lose his sons, but um, he often had um, a lot of of of, of his uh, some of his sons. Um, uh, how do you say that? Um, going against his, uh, against their own father. Um, the most famous one uh, is the story of Abs Abs Absalom. 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 Sorry, Absalom. The, um, where, um, where, um, yeah, where the the one that hang on the tree um, um, in in the whole battle of uh, against against his father, and where he was killed by one of the commanders of of. of uh, father's uh his, his father uh, uh of, of king david um itself um so it's it's very a very tra tragic story in a way and 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 in, in, if you look at, at the whole picture of david not only did king david had a, uh, a wonderful life but he often had also a lot of tragedies or adversities um and so uh, just as i said in the beginning um what i wanted to bring up is 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 maybe three points that I see um, would would help, you know, that, that that I admire in a way in the life of King David, um, that even though he went through those difficulties, uh, through those adversities, through those challenges, uh, that he was still being able to to commit himself to the Lord. Um, so yeah, um, so the first point is um, and and. Most of those those um, those points, I, I took them out of Psalms because it's in in Psalms where he, David pours out his heart, right? Um, um, and 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 the first point that I wanted to discuss was he he relied on the Lord uh, throughout his whole life. He always relied on the Lord, um, and 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 one of the the things you can see that is because even though even though King David was anointed, uh, you know, in in First Samuel was it sixteen. Uh, I think it's 16. It took him 10 chapters or wait, uh, so now a very good question. Is it 10 or 20? 20 chapters later um, to become the actual king. So, um, and, 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 and scholars say that it took uh, between 7 to 10 years uh, before he became king. And during those 7 to 10 years, um, because after he, he, he won the battle against Goliath, uh, King Saul kind of uh, grew a, a grudge against David just because um, uh, the whole, um, the whole uh, uh, nation of Israel kind of uh, praised David for, for everything that he did because 
not only did Ki uh, King David um, kill Goliath, but later afterwards uh, co he commanded um, uh, a whole armies and won so many battles. So uh, people were like praising uh, David and it kind of made uh, King Saul jealous um, about this whole situation and gave Saul uh, kind of a grudge against David. And, and during the, those seven to ten years, year spans, oh, he tr tried more than ten times trying to kill David. So <clears throat> in, in this whole uh, uh, yeah, seven to ten years, David was most of the time or a lot of time running for his life. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, first point uh, is he relied on the Lord. And we see that I mean, there's so many verses, but I, I, I picked up I, I picked up the one verse one verse in Psalms um, three <clears throat> in the beginning of Psalms Psalms three one to three it says, "O Lord, how many are my foes? Many are rising against me. Many are saying, of my soul, there is no sal salvation for him in God. But you, O Lord, are a shield about about me, my glory and the lifter of my head." <clears throat> you see, King David never lost um, sight of God's help. Uh, even though in, 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 in his great grief or, or uh, when he was in danger uh, <clears throat> or even when he was provoked by his enemies, David, uh, you know, he knew that he had nowhere else to go but to God. Um, and, um, and that's really something I believe, uh, you know, uh, that we as Christians need to learn is to, you know, whatever situation we are in, you know, oftentimes... Um, um, I've, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to think of a situation, but we sometimes rely, maybe sometimes on our own strength, but sometimes also on this, on 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 other people. Um, and here we we see in the, in the life of David that every time he was um, in in this distress moment, or uh, he always went back to God. Uh, another 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 verse is, for example, in Psalms 55: "Is cast your burden on the Lord, and He will sustain you. He will never permit the righteous to be moved." Uh, you know. Um, yeah. Um, so we, we see here David, and, and I, I mean there's so many examples. I, I wrote another one here in Psalms 27, but I will I will not I will go deeper into it because um, time is moving, and, and and I have to be aware of that too. Is um, so in the first part is David relied on God, and um, um, I don't know if you're noting it, but it's sometimes something that we need to remi remind ourselves, um, and and. Um, is you know in what whatever situation we're in, uh, first thing we, we need to do is rely on God and and how how are how are the, the things that we can do that is 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 it's soaking everything in prayer, uh, is soaking everything um, uh, with your life with the Word of God, um, and it is it is it is then that you truly uh, you know can say I'm relying on God God I I need you God I want you God I I. I yeah, there's, you know, like, um, yeah, what else can I say? I think you, you guys understand. Um, <clears throat> and then the second, second point is, um, so not only did he rely on God, but um, he actively also desired God. Because there's a difference, there's a difference between relying on someone and, and you know, uh, for example, I would rely on my wife to give me, to give me, you know, to prepare the food and to, um, to, uh, to feed, you know, to feed me and the kids. Um, but not only did, did King David rely on, on, on God, but he uh, actively desired and he sought out uh, the Lord. And, and that is another thing uh, that we, we can do is not only just rely on God. And, and maybe I should have said that in the place for relying, uh, saying, you know, uh, to rely on God is to trust. Uh, to trust God is, is to have a, a life of peace. Even though whatever we, um, you know, what, whatever struggles we are in, um, it is when we rely on God that we, we can say, okay, God, you know what? I, I'm not in control over this. Um, my family is not in control over this. And, you know, I will, I will in a way, not worry about uh, this situation. And, and I'll trust God. I'll trust in you that um, at, all, at the end, all things... Uh, will work for for his good and uh, and and that's in a way relying and then the the second one which is desiring and 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 and, and seeking the lord that is 
um, the, um, what I said before is is really in 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 prayer in 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 um, <coughs> in, in in reading the word etc. Really desiring for the Lord uh, in a way like which is written in Deuteronomy six four where it says you know hear O Israel the Lord our God the Lord is one love the Lord your God with all your heart with all your mind and with all your soul and uh, an example of of where God. Uh, uh, desire uh, where David desired God is in Psalms 40 and it says I delight to do your will um, <clears throat> oh my God your law is within my heart and 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 another one in, in Psalms 42 it says as a deer pants for flowing streams so pants my soul for you oh God my soul thirsts for for God for the living God um, not only did, did he desire God but he wanted to do God's will we see that in, in Psalms 40 it was not his own will that he desired, but to do the will of God. And we learn how to do the will, uh, will of God in a way by, by, um, <clears throat> by, yeah, reading His word and 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 being in His presence. Um, so, what's the second second point? Is so the first point was um, to, that he relied on God, he he trusted in the Lord. The second one is that he desired God and uh, seek the Lord, but desired also God's will. Um, and then the third point uh, is that, um, yeah, he worshipped. David was a, a man known for for uh, playing uh, the, the the harp um, and doing it very beautifully. And 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 of course uh, he was known for his worship. Um, and and I think I believe that it is kind of key. Worship is kind of key in in in, in being able. To, to be in this situation, you know, where, where, where you have um, adversities or whatever, is to be in this mind of worship uh, that, will, that will not only soothe you or, or soothe your soul, but, you know, connect your spirit with the Lord. Um, uh, it is being in this, in this continuous um, moment of, of, of worship um, that I believe you will grow also in your faith, in your relationship with God. Um, and, and, and I'm not just talking about, uh, you know, how, how we all sing and worship and praise the Lord. But worship is more than just that. It's, 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 it's a whole lifestyle. It's, you know, um, um, it is what you do for God. And, and I think it's in uh, Romans 11. Let me quickly check it up. But I think it is. Uh, but I just don't want to do, uh, say anything uh, wrong. Is um Romans 12. Ah, yeah, Romans 12, sorry. Therefore, it says in, in verse 1, Therefore I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. So it's not about the singing, and it's not... Um, uh, just playing the guitar or whatever, but it's really about this this lifestyle um, of, of of offering your your body as a living sacrifice and and an example of of, of worship that, that David gave uh, and there are so many in, in, uh, in the book of Psalms, but I wanted to pick one is uh, Psalms thirty four where he says I will extol the Lord at all times and it's one of my favorite verses. Uh, you probably already heard me talking about it. Um, <clears throat> His praise will always be on my lips. I will glory in the Lord. Let the afflicted hear and rejoice. Glorify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Just, you know, uh, worshipping in the Lord and boasting in the Lord, saying how great he is, how wonderful he is. Um, you know, in this verse says, let the afflicted hear and rejoice. So those that are down, those that are, are having troubles, you know, if they hear your praise, if they hear your worship, if they hear you boasting in the Lord, they will, they will, uh, yeah, they will. They they will have a, a shift in in mindset, in, in 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 lifestyle, and will rejoice together with you. Um, so I believe that it is very important to continue worshiping God um, in whatever situation you are in. Not only to worship and praise Him when everything goes well, but also to worship and praise Him when it becomes difficult in life. Um, very important to do. Um, um, and and I, went, I wanted maybe to conclude uh, with, you know, um, kind of a, a verse, I believe, that kind of brings everything together, um, but which is New Testament, maybe, for, for those that want to have something from the New Testament. And that is 
in uh, 1 Peter uh, 5.10. Let me turn to it. <coughs> it says, uh, 1 Peter 5.10, 1 Peter 5.10, And the God of all grace who called you to his eternal glory in Christ, after you have suffered a little while, will himself restore you and make you strong, firm and steadfast. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I think it sums it all up. Is is you know, in whatever struggles you are in, whatever um, um, adversities you might you might be in, um, you know, um, at the end, have faith in God and, and trust in God, um, because we all know the ending, and and it's kind of here. Um, uh, uh, said here in 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 in, in First Peter five ten, it says, you know, He Himself will restore you, and He will make you strong, firm, and steadfast. So, um, so church, uh, even though maybe you are not in adversity right now, note it and remind yourself, you know, keep uh, relying on God, keep desiring God, and and don't forget to, to be uh, to to stay in that state of, of worship. Uh, David, King David says, I will extol the Lord at all times. His praise will always be, always be on my lips. So let the praises of God always be on your lips and live a life uh, full, um, just the way Jesus Christ uh, wanted you to live a life uh, full and free. I hope you have been blessed by, uh, this, uh, by the word of God. And uh, I really hope to see you all very soon. Let us pray. Father, we thank you. For Lord, we can find uh, our 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 our, <clears throat> our trust in you, our hope in you, our peace in you, Lord Jesus. And I just pray, Lord, even though that we are disconnected from one another, Lord, we will be connected, Lord, uh, more deeply within you, but also deeper and and closer, Lord, to one another. We thank you, Jesus, Lord, Father God, for 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 uh, uh, for for what you've done more than two thousand years ago, Lord Jesus, because of what you've done. We are able to live a life that is free, without sin. And and there's nothing else that we can do, Lord Jesus, but worship you, Father God. Just as it says in Romans 12, to offer our, our bodies as a living sacrifice, Lord Jesus, to you. Hallelujah, Father. And I, I just pray, Lord, that we will meditate on that word. Meditate on, on what it actually means, Lord Jesus, to... to to offer ourselves, Lord Jesus, just the way, the same way you have offered yourself for us, Lord Jesus. We thank you because, Lord, at the end, we know, uh, we know the outcome of everything. We know where we are going. We know uh, our, our security is in you, Father God. And I just pray, Lord, I want to pray for anyone that that doesn't feel the security. Um, maybe there are some of us where we're, we're still hesitating. We're unsure. I want to pray a prayer for, uh, for, for specifically for you, um, that, that God will reveal himself to you, that he will identify to you as, as, as not only your Lord, but, and not, or not only your Savior, but also your Lord. God, uh, if, you, if, you, if you trust in him, uh, give your fully everything to him, um, I promise you, not an easy life, but a life of freedom, a life where you can truly live uh, your life to its full potential, and 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 in the reason of, of or what's the word, uh, in the fulfillment of the reason why God made you. So God, I I thank you, Lord Jesus. Reveal yourself to them, Lord Jesus. Speak to them, Lord. Let them, Lord, take time, Lord Jesus, to 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 pray to you and, and seek your face, Father God, Lord Jesus. So we thank you. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for your protection over everyone, Lord. And um, yeah, Father God, we want to commit this whole uh, situation into your hands, Father God. We have faith in you and trust you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you for connecting and um, see you. As it is our first Sunday, I hope that we all have prepared our communion and um, we're doing this as we remember what the Lord has done for us. Um, though we were still sinners, uh, Christ Jesus died for us. And as we do this, as we take the bread and the cup, we also uh, remember 
and look forward that He is coming back. And we as His church are here patiently waiting for that day to come. So uh, let us uh, open our Bibles in 1 Corinthians um, chapter 11, verse 23 to 26. It says, for, it, for I received from the Lord what I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus on the night when he was betrayed took bread, and he had given thanks, he broke it and said, this is my body which is for you. Do this in remembrance of, you, of me. Let us take our bread and pray. Lord, I pray, God, Jesus. Uh, and we thank you, Lord, for the, the body, Lord God, you have given for us, Lord Jesus. Lord, you've received mockery, Lord God. You've received flashes, Lord. Physically, Lord Jesus. For us to be able, Lord God, to receive the grace and mercy through only Christ, through Christ. Lord, as we take this bread, Lord, remember, Lord Jesus, the sacrifice that you have made on the cross. Lord, in this time of pandemic, Lord God, as we do this in our own homes, oh Lord Jesus, as a church, oh Lord God, as one, we're doing this in remembrance of you. Let us all take the bread. In the same way, also he took the cup up after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Then let us take all our um, cup. Let's pray. Lord, we thank the Lord God for the blood that you have shed on the cross, the only blood that could wash away all, all our sins, Lord. The blood where we are able to be called as adopted sons and daughters, oh Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for this blood we are not, we are not even worthy, Lord God, to be forgiven, Lord Jesus. Who are we, oh Lord God? Sinners, oh Lord God. Who are you, Lord Jesus, to receive this cup? Oh Lord God, to receive the blood which could wash away our sins. But Lord, here we are today remembering, Lord God, for what you have done and thanking you and be, being grateful, Lord God Jesus, for that sacrifice, oh Lord, that you have made. But at the same time, remember, Lord God, the promise that you have made to us that you're coming back to your church, for your church, O oh Lord. And until that day, O oh Lord God, we will always remember and be grateful, Lord God, for what you have done, O oh Lord. No one else can. Lord, we give you glory and thanks. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's all drink. church I hope that you guys have been blessed and that you guys are prepared for the new week to come that we're gonna face and uh, as always be safe and may the Lord be with us always